Imagine you are tasked with refactoring a grown hotspot, a file with around 10,000 lines of code that changes frequently. It's a big task, so you are tackling it together with two teammates. And to make things trickier, feature development continues in parallel, also touching that file. How do you approach this without ending up in merge hell? The real challenge isn't the code inside the hotspot. It's that the file has accumulated too many responsibilities over time and as a consequence keeps changing for too many reasons. That leads to high-risk merges. This situation isn't uncommon in real projects. And for common problems, we have patterns. The splinter pattern from this excellent book offers a structured way to handle this challenge. The idea is simple. We break the hotspot along its responsibilities into smaller modules while keeping the original API as a facade. This shields the rest of the system from internal refactoring churn. This pattern doesn't aim for perfect design. It doesn't even directly improve code quality. What it gives us is structure, one that allows multiple developers to work in parallel without stepping on each other's toes. Here's how it works. As with any refactoring, we start by making sure we have sufficient test coverage for the hotspot. If your hotspot doesn't have a safety net yet, stick around, I'll show you a pragmatic way to build one at the end of this video. Next we dive into the code and try to identify distinct behavior. Which method names indicate groups of behavior? Which methods operate on the same data? Once we spot these groups, we reorganize the code to bring related methods together. Move just a few methods at a time and avoid mixing this with other cleanup. We commit often and integrate quickly to reduce the risk of complex merges. If fast integration isn't possible, we can still do the work on a throwaway branch. Think of it as a prototype a sketch to visualize the structure. We don't merge it, instead we use it as a plan. Now we are ready to extract the first behavior into its module. We might start with the part that changes most frequently or pick a low hanging fruit to build momentum. We begin by creating an empty module and referencing it in the original hotspot. Then, one method at a time, we move the logic over, keeping a delegation in place in the hotspot. After each move, we run the regression tests, commit, and integrate immediately, again to avoid merge complications. Since this new module is likely just a stepping stone, we mark it as such using a to-do comment to make the intent clear. We repeat the process for the next behavior, and the next. Eventually the original hotspot is reduced to a thin facade. At that point we review the splinters and apply the same steps to any of them that still feel too large. Often the reason everything lived in one place was shared code. How do we deal with that? One option is to duplicate the shared code across the splinters. That might feel like violating the dry principle, but in practice, it's often not that bad. Each splinter has a narrower focus, and that usually means the shared code simplifies once copied. Another option is to extract the shared code into its own module. But again, that's a temporary step, not a final design. To avoid misuse, give that module a name like dumpster and mark it with a to-do comment to prevent others from using it as a dumping ground. And what if multiple splinters rely on the same state, shared fields or member variables? One option is to let one splinter own the state. The facade retrieves the data and passes it to the other splinters. Another option is to extract the shared state into its own module and inject it into the splinters that depend on it. And if neither option works well, some languages support partial classes. It's not ideal, but it still lets us split responsibilities across files, which is the core goal of this pattern. Once the hotspot is fully splintered, the real refactoring can begin. Now we can improve the design of the individual modules without stepping on each other. Once the new modules have the API design we want, we remove the facade by inlining its delegations into the callers. Then the new structure takes over. Remember step 1, the safety net? If you don't have tests yet, watch this video to learn how to build an affordable safety net that fits perfectly with the splinter pattern.